Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best 4K TVs. Starting at number 5. Hisense 55 inch. A cheaper mid range option like the Hisense U8 U8K is great if you want a TV with excellent value. It's a great TV with impressive picture quality in dark and bright rooms. It comes with the easy-to-use Google TV as its smart platform, and you can either watch apps directly on the TV or cast content from your phone. While it doesn't deliver the same perfect black levels and black uniformity as the LG C2 OLED or the Samsung S90C OLED, it displays deep blacks with an impressive mini-LED local dimming feature, with almost no blooming around bright objects. It has surprisingly good image processing capabilities, so movies and shows look good no matter their source, even if it isn't nearly as good as on the Sony TVs. Unlike the top two TVs on this list, this one supports both HDR10 Plus and Dolby Vision HDR formats, so you can take full advantage of the content you're watching, no matter which format it's in. It also displays a wide range of colors in HDR and gets bright enough to make highlights pop and colors look vivid. It also has a great selection of gaming features, including full VRR support to reduce tearing, and it supports HDMI 2.1 bandwidth for up to 4K at 144Hz gaming, but only on two of its four HDMI ports. Unfortunately, its viewing angle is narrower than on the more expensive TVs, so it's not as good overall if you have a wide seating arrangement, as the image isn't consistent when viewed from the side. You could also save some money by going for the Hisense U7K instead, it has worse contrast and lower peak brightness than the U8K, but it has the same features and is a great TV for the price. Coming at number 4. LG C2 Series 65. If you want something cheaper than the Samsung S90C OLED, the best upper mid-range TV we've tested is the LG C2 OLED. It's an incredible TV that delivers similar picture quality to the Samsung model. It uses a different type of OLED panel that delivers the same perfect blacks in a dark room, but its colors aren't as bright and vibrant as those found on QD OLED TVs like the Samsung, and HDR content doesn't stand out as well due to the LG's lower peak brightness. Like the Samsung TVs, the LG supports Dolby Vision HDR, which is more widely used than Samsung's competing HDR10+. It's available in a wider range of sizes, from a small 42-inch up to an impressive 83-inch size. It's a fantastic choice for gamers, thanks to its wide range of gaming features. Like the Samsung TV, all four of its HDMI ports have HDMI 2.1 bandwidth, all of which can do up to 4K at 120Hz. It also has support for FreeSync, HDMI Forum VRR, and GSWNC Variable Refresh Rate VRR, technologies, ensuring a nearly tear-free gaming experience from any VRR-compatible source. Plus, it has nearly instantaneous response time and low input lag, so it's truly a gaming standout. The LG C3 OLED is now out, and it has some advantages over the C2. But it's also more expensive, which aligns with the S90C's price point. As the Samsung is the better TV overall, either go for the cheaper C2 or jump to the Samsung. At number 3. Sony 65-inch. If you're not in a completely dark room, the benefits of the Samsung S90C OLED or Sony A95K OLED are less noticeable, so an LED TV like the Sony X93L slash X93CL might be a better choice. This TV delivers excellent picture quality, with deep blacks and very bright highlights that stand out the way the content creator intended. It's a fantastic choice for a bright living room thanks to its high peak brightness and superb reflection handling, so glare isn't an issue. It looks good in a dark room, but it relies on a mini LED backlight to produce deep blacks, so there's more noticeable blooming around bright objects than on the Samsung. It's a great TV for any use. It has a great selection of gaming features, including HDMI 2.1 bandwidth on two of its four ports, meaning you can enjoy 4K at 120Hz gaming from recent consoles or a recent PC GPU. 
It also has an excellent response time and fantastic input lag for a very responsive gaming experience. It supports HDMI Forum VRR and GSVNC, so VRR works with any source. It's available in three sizes, from a 65-inch size to a huge 85-inch model, all sizes deliver incredible picture quality, with an adequate viewing angle, deep blacks, and a wide color gamut for HDR content. For those with deep pockets, the Sony X95L is the best LED TV on the market but is only available in an 85-inch size in North America. Plus, as amazing as it is, it's not worth the price increase over the X93L for most people. Number 2 of my list Sony 55-inch 4K If you want the absolute best TV for a basement home theater, get the Sony A95K OLED. It's significantly more expensive than the Samsung S90C OLED, but it's better for a home theater setup as it has wider format support than the Samsung TV and delivers a more accurate image overall, especially in HDR. Compared to Samsung's HDR10 Plus format, the A95K supports the more popular Dolby Vision HDR, so you'll enjoy the most advanced HDR experience possible from almost any source. Sony's processing does a better job following the content creator's intent, so the brightness and colors of HDR content look the way they're supposed to. It also supports more advanced audio formats than the Samsung, like Dolby DTS X Passthrough over eARC, so you don't have to worry about the audio formats that your favorite movies use. It displays an incredibly wide HDR color gamut and looks stunning in a dark room thanks to its nearly infinite contrast ratio delivering perfect blacks with no distracting blooming around bright areas of the screen. It also gets very bright, so HDR content stands out, and colors are bright and vibrant. It's only available in two sizes, 55 and 65 inches. The A95K is very expensive, so if you want a Sony OLED specifically for its processing capabilities, the Sony A80L slash A80CL OLED is much cheaper. Still, it's a big step down in brightness and color vibrancy. This TV's successor, the Sony A95L, is now out. We'll receive it in our labs shortly, so we'll let you know how it compares to the A95K soon. And number 1. Samsung 55-inch. The best 4K TV we've tested is the Samsung S90C OLED. It's an incredible 4K TV that looks amazing in a dark room, as bright highlights in HDR content stand out incredibly well, with no distracting blooming or haloing around bright areas of the scene. Its QD OLED panel has much brighter and more vibrant colors than the Wolaid panels found on TVs like the LG C2 OLED. It runs Samsung's Tizen OS Smart Interface, which is easy to use and has a great selection of streaming apps and games. Unlike some other TVs, the Samsung model doesn't support Dolby Vision HDR, nor does it support advanced DTS audio formats. It does support Samsung's less widely used HDR10 Plus format, which looks just as good as Dolby Vision. The TV is also great for gaming thanks to its near-instantaneous response time, so there's no noticeable ghosting behind fast-moving objects. Its input lag is extremely low, resulting in a very responsive gaming experience, and it has a few great gaming features, including variable refresh rate support to reduce screen tearing. Finally, it supports up to 4K at 144Hz on all four HDMI ports, so you can take full advantage of the latest gaming consoles and graphics cards. It's available in four sizes, 55, 65, 77, and 83 inches, but the 83-inch model uses a Wolaid panel. It has a higher tier model, the Samsung S95C OLED, but it's more expensive, and even though it's brighter than the S90C, the cheaper model is the better buy for most people. Check out this video description for latest price and more information. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.